Capas, officially the municipality of Capas, Capampangan, Bailan ng Capas, Pangasinan, Bailey na Capas, Ilocano, Ilit Capas, Tagalog, Bayan ng Capas, is a first-class municipality in the province of Tarlac, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 140,202 people. As one of the richest towns in the province, it consists of numerous subdivisions and exclusive villages. Capas is being dubbed as the tourism capital of Tarlac. Apart from being known as the final site of the infamous Bataan Death March, it is also known for Mount Pinatubo treks, where thousands of mountaineers and visitors go. The town has some industrial factories like the Pilmaco. Capas is a part of the 3rd Municipal District of Tarlac with Noel L. Villanueva as the present 3rd District Representative of Tarlac. Geography Capas has relatively high ground, hilly places near the mountain range are at an approximate 46 meters. It is bordered by San Jose on the north, Tarlac City on the northeast, Concepcion on the east, Botolan, Zambales, on the west and southwest and Bamban on the rest of the southern parts. The west side of the town is mountainous while the east side is a plain. The town is also known as the Gateway to Pinatubo Volcano. The town also consists of hot springs and several freshwater lakes like the Tombo Lake. Capas is 108 kilometers 67 miles from Manila and is 16 kilometers 9.9 .9 miles from the provincial capital, Tarlac City. Many of the streams in the province contain small bits of petrified wood, fish, fresh water crabs and other animals. Namria and Dingding Creek merge as the two major tributaries to Luking River in Concepcion. Most of Tarlac's waterways that originate from Mount Pinatubo pass through Capas, including the Bulsa Moriones River and Sta. Lucia River that form Tarlac River. Barangays Capas is politically subdivided into 20 barangays. Barangay Cutcut meaning hole, gorge, or dug-up hole is known for its landfill where garbage from other municipalities is disposed. Maluting Gabon or Red Sand has a replica of Kappa's National Shrine which is sometimes featured on Philippine maps. Barangay Sto. Rosario, Holy Rosary, has Via de Sto. Rosario, Rosary Ville, Small Tokyo which was formerly a Japanese garrison hence its name, Pascuala which has the most poultries and piggeries in Capas it also has one of the most polluted tributaries to Luking River because surrounding piggeries have made it waste waters for pig excrement, despite protests, the government has taken little to no action regarding the pollution caused by piggeries. Pinagpala which has a sugar cane farm, mango plantations etc. Sto, Rosario is also the location of Capas Public Cemetery or Cabu Santu, as well as the San Nicolas de Tolentino Parish which is the town church that stands next to the Dominican College of Tarlac. Other schools in Capas include Capas East Central School, Capas High School, formerly, Dolores High School, Gabaldon Elementary School, Montessori School of St. Nicholas among others. Wellspring High School and Capas Christian School are the new private schools. Cub Cub, Cut Cut 2, Santo Domingo I, Santo Domingo II, and Santo Rosario are the town's poblacion and location of the public market. Sta, Rita is among the smallest barrios, barangays, of the municipality but has a church and school. Barangay Talaga is known for its production of tinapa or smoked fish, Barangay Dolores has its garden plants and sto. Domingo has the Capas Junction which also has fast food chains like the town proper. Barangay Arangaran is home to poet laureate Renato Alzadan, who is also known as the current Ari Ning Parnasong Kapampangan, or King of Kapampangan Literature. It is also the location of Kappa's National Shrine, Sitio Kasalukan, Kalampit, Daling Baca, Aquino Page Village Kamatis, and Bullhorn. Barangay Manlapig has rice fields and is among the liveliest barangays during the evening. Barangay Alai is known for being a place for many of the first Ilocano settlers in the municipality. Barangay Manga, Mango, used to be filled with the fruit-bearing tree or presumably. Barangay Estrada is the last stop before reaching Tarlac City through MacArthur Highway. Patling, Sta. Lucia, Bueno, Maruglu and Sta. 
Juliana are mountainous and hilly while filled with vast lands and forest, presumably the place where the earliest settlers of the town stayed. Sioux divisions and villages History Originally a part of Zambales and Pampanga, its first settlers were the Kapampangan and the Aeta. It was founded in the year 1710 by the Augustinian friars. During the American colonial period, the Americans built the Camp O'Donnell for military installation until when the Japanese used it as a concentration camp during the Bataan Death March as the last stop of the march. Capas as all other towns in Tarlac province was a part of vast wilderness inhabited by the Abeling tribes known as Aetis. The history of Capas dates back in the late 16th century when immigrants from Pampanga, Zambales, Pangasinan and the Ilocos region flock into the settlements. It is considered as the oldest town of Tarlac. Capas became a Pueblo town in 1710 beginning as a sleepy settlement at a place between Cutcut River and Sitio Pagbachuan and Gudia present site founded by Capitan Mariano Capiendo. Capas patron saint is San Nicolas de Tolentino. September 9-10 is the Capas town fiesta. Tarlac province was founded on May 28, 1874. In the course of time, townspeople of Capas were ordered by the Spanish authorities to change their family name of their own choosing on condition such family names begins with letter C, the first letter of Capas. Descendants of the early inhabitants still hold to this day such family names as Capiendo, Capuno, Capitulo, Capule, Capunpun, Cayabyab, Castañeda and Catacutan. In the year 1850s, Capas was a part of the Western Pampanga Comandancia Militar de Tarlac, which includes the town of Bamban, Concepcion, Victoria, O'Donnell, Murcia, Moriones, Florida Blanca, Porac, Mabalacat, and Magalang. O'Donnell Patling, was then a bustling pueblo established by the Augustinians Recoleta's mission in the 1800s named in honor of Carlos O'Donnell y Abreu, the Spanish Minister of State who visited the Patling Pueblo. O'Donnell was reverted as a barrio of Capas by the Philippine Commission of 1902 including Moriones reverted to Tarlac Town and Murcia back to Concepcion. Capas is known in history as the site of the infamous Death March concentration camp during World War II. Of the etymology of Capas, old folks believed it derived its name from a wild vine. Capas Capas or it originated from a tree called Capas in the Aetis dialect, Bullock in Pampango or Capas in Ilocano. The town has built the Capas National Shrine. It was built and is maintained by the Philippine government as a memorial to the Filipino and American soldiers who died in Camp O'Donnell at the end of the Bataan Death March, that totals to almost 70,000 soldiers and backup civilians. This is a memorable site, of all Filipino and Americans veterans, that relates to Veterans Day in the Philippines. It was once a concentration camp subsequently serving as the burial grounds for thousands of Filipino and American soldiers who perished during World War II. The site was the ultimate destination point of the Bataan Death March involving Filipino and American soldiers who surrendered in Bataan on April 9, 1942. Camp O'Donnell was a facility of the United States Air Force in Capas, Tarlac, Philippines. Before the facility was transferred to the Air Force, it was first a Philippine Constabulary Post then a United States Army facility. Another site, Sto. Domingo Death March Marker, which is located in Capas where about 60,000 Filipino soldiers who were camped and eventually unloaded to start the second phase of the Death March. Conversion to cityhood With more than 100,000 populace, an area that is good enough for a city and an income close to 250 million pesos becoming a city is not impossible according to Rodriguez. Enshrouding more than 53% of this town's land area, the Basis Conversion and Development Authority BCDA, has included the municipality of Capas in the design of their master plan that is now in process, according to re-elected Mayor Antonio T.J. Rodriguez. Rodriguez bared this during his inaugural speech at the oath-taking ceremony of newly elected and re-elected municipal officials held at the Multipurpose Hall here Monday morning. TJ said BCDA claims control of the more than 19,900 hectares as a military reservation, where three of their barangays 
Sta. Juliana, Maruglu and Bueno were included, while barangays Santa Lucia, Arangaran, Lai and O'Donnell were partly taken. Being included in BCDA's master plan to make Capas a green city soon, TJ said that this town will become the most beautiful and progressive city in the country with the assurance of preserving the environment. However, with the forthcoming development, the controversy about the land where some Capasinos built their houses a long time ago is still a big issue. Rodriguez, however, vowed that he is with his constituent side in fighting for their rights over the land where their dwellings are constructed. He revealed that as early as June 2011, he already wrote a letter to President Benigno Aquino III, requesting the delineation and redistribution of 5,000 hectares of the BCDA area where his constituents resided. He said he would continue to consult with the stakeholders who will be affected by the BCDA's master plan. TJ assured Capesinos that with the new set of Sangguniang Bayan members headed by his party mate, Vice Mayor Rosalor, Boots, Rodriguez, their vision towards the new Capas or Bayan Capas would be swiftly attained through their full cooperation and coordination with each other. During the occasion, the mayor enumerated his accomplishments during his first term, announcing the 65 million pesos increase of budget from 180 million pesos in 2010 to 215 million pesos in 2012. He said his administration is intending to generate more revenues to finance more projects and programs in health, agriculture, housing, infrastructure, disaster preparedness and other services. New Clark City ground broke in 2016 and is envisioned as a business contingency hub of the national government where it serves as a backup office should Metro Manila experience emergencies such as earthquakes, floods and other calamities. It is located in the BCDA reservation in Capas that used to be a test site of military aircraft when Clark Air Base was under control of the United States. NCC will also serve as primary venue of the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Capas was 140,202 people, with a density of 370 inhabitants per square kilometer or 960 inhabitants per square mile. The people of Capas are predominantly Kapampangan because of their close ties from Pampanga. Ilocano is also used. The town is also predominantly Roman Catholic, but there are also Christian congregations of some sects, like Iglesia Ni Cristo, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Jehovah's Witnesses, Baptist and Jesus Miracle Crusade. Attractions Capas is the location of Mount Telakawa or Straw Hat Mountain on the boundaries of Santa Juliana and Maruglu. It also provides access to Mount Pinatubo via the preferred route through Barangay Santa Juliana. Mount Bueno is the site of Bueno Hot Springs in Barangay Bueno. Malatarlac and Sale or lemon grass grows abundantly on More Asia or Talahib Mountain at Sitio Kalangitan. Mount Kanuman is the largest in terms of surface area, known as the Mountain of Spirits. It is a dangerous 10-hour walk from Sitio Salangui. The majority of mountains in Capas are relatively easy climbs. Mount Dallin, the smaller Straw Hat Mountain is near a 300-meter peak called Prayer Mountain or Peniel where a few rooms are available for rent. The feast day of San Nicolas de Tolentino is held every 10 September. The origin of the name Capas is disputed but has two prominent sources. It is said that town was either named after the edible plant called Capas Capas or was taken from the first three letters of the surnames Capitulo, Capunfuerza, Capunpue, Capili, Caponga, Capunpun, Capati, Capel and Capuno etc. then adding the letters A and S, hence forming Capas. Capas National Shrine The municipality is home to the Capas National Shrine, an obelisk with a central bell, which was built and is maintained by the Philippine government as a memorial to the Filipino and American soldiers who died in Camp O. Donal at Barangay Arangaran, during the end of the Bataan Death March. This is an important site related to Veterans Day in the Philippines, every April 9, the anniversary of the surrender of the defending U.S. and Philippine Commonwealth forces to the Japanese in 1942. 
When the raid at Capas on 1945, combined U.S. and Philippine Commonwealth ground troops supporting local recognized guerrillas freed by few thousands of Filipino and American POW. S. on Bataan Death March and attacking Japanese forces. This is a memorable sight, of all Filipino and Americans veterans, that relates to Veterans Day in the Philippines. It was once a concentration camp subsequently serving as the burial grounds for thousands of Filipino and American soldiers who perished during World War II. The site was the ultimate destination point of the infamous death march involving Filipino and American soldiers who surrendered in Bataan on April 9, 1942. Camp O'Donnell was a facility of the United States Air Force in Capas, Tarlac, Philippines. Before the facility was transferred to the Air Force, it was first a Philippine Constabulary Post then a United States Army facility. Another site, Sto. Domingo Death March Marker, which is located in Capas where about 60,000 Filipino soldiers who were camped and eventually unloaded to start the second phase of the tragic death march. Government Reynaldo L. Catacutan, Mayor Rosalor B. Rodriguez, Vice Mayor Sanguniang Bayan Members Gallery References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System